he wanted to literally make limited runs that you could only get if you lived in the projects for free. Right around the same time that I did the Newport, the Menthol 10 as it's called, we started playing around with other silhouettes. And Steve and I, again, being frustrated through the process of dealing with multiple corporations and brands and from Nike to you name it. Um, we then took you know, the same sole and made this sample. Um, and why is this significant? Because Steve, this was Steve, this was going to be the Steve Powers Ari, the Espo Ari. We come from that blue collar kind of mentality. And um, Steve's next project that he wanted to do was with, he wanted to do projects where he was creating shoes and sneakers and stuff for kids in the projects. He wanted limited runs, hyper strikes, you know, limited edition artist things, instead of them going to the, the best shops and going to the best, um, you know, retail outlets and going to the, the most famous individuals, he wanted to literally make limited runs that you could only get if you lived in the projects for free. So he, Steve really had these huge kind of ideas that none of the sneaker companies would pony up the money for. Steve, Steve's idea with this was that a guy who doesn't have a lot of money, who works honestly and works decent, you know, a, 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 a decent job, he's in the kitchen, he's working hard, he works for a trash company, he works, he's, he's, he's uh, washing dishes in the background, he's doing something. So he wanted to make a shoe that you could wear to work and wear to the club, that you could go to work and go on a date with. And so the idea was that this was gonna be made out of tire rubber, inner tube rubber, the whole thing and that you could scuff it up, drop grease on it, do all kinds of stuff, wipe it down, put armor all on it like you would a tire and go out for the night. Uh, you know, initially it was gonna have the, the upside down swoosh, the Spinnaker logo there, and then that disappeared, obviously because of what happened, because this was sampling around the same time, and it was gonna have a Steve Powers tag on there and stuff, so it started to take on a different life. We then completely, I moved away from that, and I have other samples and stuff that are not this silhouette that are more of a classic design that are like a three quarter, not Air Force One, more like a Vans meets Blazer meets Chukka boot kind of a thing. Um, but this, no one's, ever, no one's seen. And it has the, you know, the Ari sole on it. Um, and it, it's a sample tag, which is, you know, think about things like this. And again, another art project. And this in here, okay, this is all crunchy. This is surgical uh, rubber. And that was another one that was going to be made out of surgical rubber. That was the same kind of thing, where it was just this ridiculous materials, these sort of industrial, um, utilitarian kind of materials that would then could be easily cleaned or, or just look right if they're screwed up. And just like a tire and inner tube, look at this. It's gotten dusty white and a patina over the years. I cut it open here to, to see how they were treating, how, what the material is really like. Um, so this is... One of one, literally, it's only a left, and I only got a left. <laughs>